everyone knows about the Dutch and their water, they have small boys who put their fingers in dikes to hold back the sea. That's pretty grim work. And when a boy retires from dike holding, he may have little to look forward to except being the captain of a big Dutch ship at sea level or a big tulip farmer below sea level. In either case, he'll almost always have either his feet or his seat wet. And that's what makes a Hollander happy. If he has to live with water, he also likes to have his fun on it. If it's a wake or a wedding, you can go by bus or by barge. Life moves along the Dutch waterways. It's boats, 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 and no outboard motor. On weekends and holidays, Holland sailors pile onto the horde of pleasure craft that line the canals and lakes. lakes near Leiden, all this naval activity reaches a peak during race week. Every small boy or girl who isn't plugging up a dike with his finger heads for the lakes with the Dutch equivalent of a toy electric train. The whole nation, it seems, is afloat with father at the oars and the children thrilling to the rise and fall of thousands of skiffs, dories, yawls, and dinghies. And then, of course, the mighty sails fill with wind and a gallant ship is on its seafaring way. country about the size of Vermont and New Hampshire combined and one-sixth of it water means that there was always wind for yacht racing. On lakes six to ten feet deep, shallow draft boats top-heavy with sail will provide plenty of thrills for Holland sailors and spectators alike. Here's a racing start. are boats of the bulk class, about 18 feet gaff rigged and with a centerboard. They compare roughly with the lightning class so popular in the United States. On different tacks, but all really heading for the same turning buoy, the boats weave a wild pattern of crossing bows and wakes. and this sailor hikes really out. When a following wind shifts, it calls for a fast jibe, and watch that boom. Meanwhile, larger boats are gathering speed for another start, and soon spectators will see the entire lake covered with white sails and sleek hulls, as race after race gets underway. In northern Holland, meanwhile, there is another race for the big barges, yachts, and scows, the cargo boats that sail the coasts and lakes. Their shallow draft requires lee boards, paddle-shaped gizmos on the sides, which are lowered in the lee or sail side to prevent the boat from slipping sideways when the wind blows.
barges and small ships like them have sailed across the ocean from Henry Hudson's day to the present. Here, a Dutch sailor wets the sails to help them catch the light wind. Anything as comfortable and boozemy as a yacht can be put to pleasure uses, and that's what's been done. Shiny with varnish and gilt, and here's one sporting the American flag. These are fine yachts, or booyards. There's lots of sail and excitement for tried and true deep water sailors, and plenty of room for those who like their cruising with all the comforts of a penthouse at home. Racing events draw the nicest kind of spectators, and no one knows how many prospective husbands have been marked down for the kill through the binoculars as Dutch tires prance and dance in the rigging of the big romantic sailboats that churn up the foam on these seaside lakes. Actually, by the way, the water is not salt. It's fresh. The lakes have been fed by rivers and rains. The salt water has long ago been pumped into the sea. Look at this D-boat heel over. The crowd is awaiting the start of the rainbow race. There they go, the equivalent of the more familiar international class, but gaff rigged. The rainbows are among the largest of the racing yachts in the Netherlands. They demand every bit of skill a yachtsman and his crew can summon up in handling sail and in helmsmanship. From the model yachts of the small fry to the big racer crammed with canvas is a small jump in Holland. As a matter of fact, the word yacht comes directly from the Dutch language. It means pursuit ship, a chaser, and a chaser is what you need to keep up with the jolts of Holland sailing.